Hey, this is Gavin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today got in my Kickstarter Mayday Games uh, Croconaut board. I have not had a Croconaut board because they've always been kind of price prohibitive. Uh, $300 for a game um, always seemed pretty steep for a good quality one, and uh, based on the early feedback, this, uh, this mahogany board is... Uh, Supposed to be pretty darn good, so it just came today. It's in this huge box, and uh, gonna be unboxing it here in a minute. Hopefully, I can figure out how to get a uh, uh, camera on this. So, uh, back in a minute. Okay, so I've got the outer box open. Uh, this was shipped really, really well. Uh, it's huge. It was a huge package, about three foot, at least three foot square. Um, so inside the box I showed you a minute ago is this box. And so I went and took it out. There was no way I could flip it around and open it on camera. It was, I just don't have a crane or anything to shoot video with. So, um, so now this, I've already cut the tape. Let's so take a look here at what's inside. You see how well packaged it is. And there is the Crokinole board from Mayday. Of course, Mayday is really known for making sleeves and stuff. And, uh, I mean, it's other gaming accessories, but they, this is uh, the 2016 edition. I guess they've done some other ones, and supposedly this is the best one yet. Uh, like I mentioned, they, um, a good crokinole board is usually in the $300 range, and there was just no way I was ever going to get one of those. So um, when this one came out, this was $99, and uh, the previews were really good, and they were good enough to bump me to the first wave. So I get this video out. This is kind of a good news, bad news situation, though. Uh, the good news is, I mean, the bad news is it's very hard to, to uh, unbox on camera. We're going to do what we can here. The bad news, though, is that they only made a limited number of these. Um, I think they estimated about 100 would go to stores, uh, and there would be a limit on the number per store. Um, so if you're interested in getting one of these after the fact, and I'm not sure when the, I think the second wave is April or May, uh, the third wave is is beyond that. Um, but go look up the Kickstarter. Uh, I'll link to it. Uh, maybe you can contact them and find out who's who's going to be carrying these in stores because uh, you'll be for a good deal. So a um, couple of extras that I added on uh, at the last minute. Um, this is a uh, tubing kit, or uh, uh, screws and tubing, uh, to give the uh, posts in the game a uh, kind of a more of a bumper action. Uh, and then these were square head screws. They had a choice of square head or, you know, standard Phillips. So I like square head. Kind of a nicer look. Um, extra disc sets. Uh, these were uh, three for twelve dollars. So we got blue, my favorite color, gold. Blue and gold always go great together. And, uh, and a set of green to go with the two sets that come with the game, the black. It's black and tan. Okay, so get the instruction book, which obviously gets a little messed up in the, uh, in the shipping. And it's really not, not that much of an instruction book. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, explains the rules. Basically, you probably want to watch some videos uh, online. Uh, just a trifle cheat. Uh, all in English, I do believe, but you know, Crokinole's pretty, you know, it's been around for hundreds of years, so uh, learning the rules is not going to be all that tough. So, it's a nice enough book. Again, I don't know where you're going to put it related to the, to the game. Um, so, the rule book obviously comes with it. The scoring box comes with it. Let's take it down. So it came with a wooden scoring box. And this holds the, the pieces. I don't know if it'll hold all the other pieces or not, but a hinged lid. Opens up. There's your pieces. Now these are the wooden posts, so you can start playing. No, these are sword packs, excuse me. Ooh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Here. 
for his tracking scores and zoom marks. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 20. So the first one to 20 points wins, and there's various ways of scoring. The uh, discs are hardwood. Like I said, there's a black set and a uh, you know, tan. So a light and dark set come with, with the game. Um, there's a way to check. Let's make it a video to check and show the convex concave of the disc, which apparently uh, matters the uh, the shooting surface. You get a little more cushion or something like that of air that it rides on. All right, so you get that. And let's look at the board here. Um, one thing I did were uh, I was going to ship separately because I did not see it in my box. Was I mean, you know, Crookedale board is normally like it's, it's a work of art, so it could hang on the uh, hang on the wall. So they actually sold a a uh, clock attachment that could go into here into the hole and make it a uh, uh, you know wall clock, you know, at least decorative. So let's see what I can do on camera. I have to stop the camera and do something else. Very well packaged. Very. Uh, I want to make sure I got here. So it's a it's a mahogany finish. Got our rings, got our post holes. I have never played this game. I am one of those people that loves watching curling when the Winter Olympics come on. I think it's a great, fun sport to watch. Um, when I was a kid, I had a ideal, uh, made by the company Ideal, which I guess will later became Mattel or something, um, bought out by Mattel, called uh, Rebound. And I just always call it shuffleboard because essentially you have these pucks, that are, uh, plastic discs with ball bearings inside of them. And you would, uh, the one I had, uh, so it was a long, long board. Uh, and then you got, you had a channel here and a channel here, which had little stair steps down. And there's some dice game I think you play where you try to knock dice off the steps. But, um, there's a, uh, uh, angles, 45 degree angles with rubber band bumpers at the end. And so you'd slide those pucks down, rip, ricochet them off the bumpers. And then you had a well at the end that you lost points, similar to Crokinole. And then, uh, uh, you know, the stair steps give you various point values. It's called Rebound. It's, it's on BGG um, from the 70s. So uh, I, I enjoyed playing that a lot as a kid. So... Um, it's kind of games always fast. We're not really normally into dexterity games, but that is just one I always really like. So, and then it was off and then out. And I don't see my, I don't see my clock. So, it really is beautiful. I like the two tone. Of the, the gutter versus the board. The, the lines look really good. Um, this I don't play with bubble wrap later. So the the uh, post upgrade. So the, uh, I guess it didn't come with posts unless you bought the upgrade or you bought the upgrade, you didn't get the posts. So I won't be able to, I'll do some assembly required and I'll post pictures of it later when I get that done because I'll have to find a square head uh, driver. But, uh, so this is the front of the board. Very nice, thick, very smooth. Um, let's try, so I'm this will be my first ever Attempt. These don't go here, right? Or maybe they do. I don't know. I'll have to read. I don't think score posts. Why would you have that many score posts? I bet these are the pegs. <laughs> <laughs> I 
screen pin. So the holes are drilled all the way through. Uh, some other ones don't do that. So if your peg gets stuck, uh, this way you can get it out. You can't, you know, if this broke off for some reason, you might end up with something stuck in there. And if it's not open on the back, you wouldn't be able to get it out. So this does allow for that. Um, from what I've watched, so um, player can shoot like this is this is uh, this is one player's zone, and they can shoot anywhere as long as they're touching this back line. They can shoot and uh, spinning. Yeah. So see that is uh, convex, concave. It's bowed in, so it spins, right? Whereas this side's more flat and has friction. So you want to flip this side, I believe. So you shoot any any side, and you're trying to get it in this hole, and it just fits in that hole. And the hole itself is cupped, so you can get the piece right out, and that counts for points. Um, so. You just flick it in. Um, so you're going to start with that, and then what happens is the next player, when he comes up, this is not a review of the game anyway, so he would shoot from his other side, obviously, but he has to hit your uh, the opponent's disc. I mean, anything else after that's fine, but it has to hit the opponent's disc, so he can't just come over here and try to shoot this way. He's got he's to try to flip that disc out of the way, and so on and so forth, and... Uh, Anyway, again, it's not a review of the game because I don't know all the rules. But so the back side, take the pegs out, take those out, and flip the board over. And what we got here is it comes. I mentioned it could be like a piece of art. So it's already drilled. You know, like I said, it's drilled through. It's assembled. The screws. It's got uh, protective pads on it, and uh, um, so it will scuff your table. But then it's also they went in and pre-drilled these eyelets, which is a great, nice feature because then you can uh, go and string some framing wire to that, and then hang it right on the wall. So that's pretty cool, and it's symmetric. You go CD. It has to be symmetric. It's lined up with the screw holes. And so the post will be up. So um, I'm actually, the board itself is, uh, this is 30, 30 and a half inches. Um, I'll get my little vintage uh, Murphy's uh, hardware store ruler. A double measure of savings for your shopping pleasure. And we'll measure it, and sure enough, it is 30 and a half, a little bit more, maybe, but uh, close enough. So it'll go, it'll go pretty well. I got a good spot on my wall for it um, because it really is beautiful. So I'll put a link to the Kickstarter. Hopefully, you can contact Mayday and be able to find uh, where you can get a copy of this awesome, awesome board um, while they last. Like I said, I think there's only a hundred extra. I don't know how many you're spoken for, when they're going to be available, but stores, the countries, and so forth. But this is the 2016 edition. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Of the uh, Mayday Maha Tournament Edition Crokinole Board 2016 edition. And uh, that is what it comes with. It's beautiful, and I can't wait to play. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.